Sidelnikov, just 19 years old, Jimmy, and he is outweighed by Soltyshek by 35 pounds. Now, that's going to be a factor should this fight go the distance. If all the other criteria is the same, a fighter who weighs more than 33 pounds, more than his opponent, gets or weighs is outweighed by more than 33 pounds gets uh, the nod in the decision. So it could be a factor if this goes the distance. Heavyweights, but you already figured oh. that out. Soltyshek in the black with the white trim. Soltyshek coming out like a fireball. I, big right hands. I do not see this going the distance at all. Sedelnikov in the all black. Now, Soltyshek doesn't seem to respect Sedelnikov's power at all. Walking forward with his hands down, not concerned about a counter punch at all. Sedelnikov is a big man at 229 pounds, and he looks very small compared to Soltyshek. Nice movement, though, from Sedelnikov. Good head movement. He's avoiding the big strikes. Huge right hand by Soltyshek. Just slipping above the ear. And just as I said that, he catches a big right hand. Warning from our referee, Marco Brusa. If Sedelnikov is smart, he's going to ride this out and take it into the later rounds. At 271 pounds, it's more likely the guy's going to gas carrying around that kind of weight. You're not going to win by trading strikes with a guy who outweighs you by that much. And that's what Sedelnikov told us was his strategy in our fighters' meeting. I think he's getting drawn too much into exchange early on in the fight, though. A little bit of that pride getting the better of him. He's standing and trading with a much, much bigger opponent. Now, you can see Saltacek does not have a traditional boxer stance. Tends to keep his hands down, not wearing very tight combinations. A lot of wingy punches. This looks like boxing right now. Nothing on the ground as of yet. No kicks. Saltacek getting off of that right hand, but just missing the mark. Well, Saltacek's throwing a lot of right hand leads. They're easy to see, so... Whoa! So Sedelnikov is getting out of the way. He's seeing those punches in time. But if one lands, that's going to be it. Soltyshek, you're right, Jimmy, is so big. He doesn't have to throw a perfect right hand, or even a left for that matter, to cause serious damage. You can see he throws kind of a clubbing left and right. And even when he blocks it slightly, it still moves him backwards. Looping left hand by Soltyshek. It's the big overhand right that Sedelnikov has to be leery of. They're not beautiful punches, but if they hit all sorts of damage, Soltyshek nearly throwing the knee. Now, Soltyshek breathing heavy already. Looks like he may be a little bit fatigued. It's hard carrying that much weight around the ring. Hands are very, very low. Are you surprised that he hasn't gone to the ground yet? Not at all. Oh, big right hand punch, and that's and it. That is it. Stopping the fight. And Soltyshek is still stunned. It doesn't look like he knows where he is. He's looking right at us. Blank eyes. Monster right hand by Sedelnikov. Amazing knockout. That is punching power, my friend. This happening right in front of a Soltyshek looking at you and me, Jimmy, almost asking what happened. It's completely disoriented. Sedelnikov fought his fight. He was patient. He looked for the counter punch, and he threw it. Great stoppage by the referee. He was all over that knockout. Indeed, Marco Brusa. Jumping on immediately, stopping that fight, a one-punch knockout. Safety first in mixed martial arts. <laughs> Looking at us now, Saltacek smiling. That right hand right on the chin dropped him. And he is clearly, clearly not able to defend himself. Great stoppage, great punch. And the head snapping as he hits the ground, that's a lot of weight to hit at once. On the cheekbone, just below the left eye, that's a kill switch punch. Kirill Sedelnikov, winner by one-punch knockout. And you can hear this crowd. They love that knockout, love the upset.